In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Father, I humble myself, your name be exalted. Have your preeminence take over. Bless your people. Today is marking the last Sunday of June. Half of 2019 is gone. Prepare thy people for the remaining six months. That the remaining six months shall be miracles and blessings upon my people. As you hear his word, may it be an instrument of your testimony. And I prophesy, July, hear me. You will favor my people. No matter your situation now, as you move into July, the Lord will favor you. July has number of seven. Seven is the number of perfection. Everything you have thought from the beginning of this year that has not received any answer, as you move into the month of perfection, may God perfect them all. I bless you this morning. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. You can say better, amen. Sit down comfortably, convincingly. And I know the Lord is about to bless somebody today. If your miracle is louder, this your amen should be louder. Jump and me, Jordan. Jump and me, Jordan. Oh, my job, okay, Osi mi ri chona ke wa e o mu su and i cherish the old rock and grow oh to the road feeds us as i lay down thank you lord I want to preach on a topic I titled Base Without Grace and Grace Without Base. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor, Base Without Grace and Grace Without Base. Say one more time. Base Without Grace and Grace Without What? And Grace Without What? Base. First of all, Let's understand what is grace. I could remember I've taught about grace and I told you that grace is who? Who did I tell you? Grace is who? Jesus Christ. Now, and I made a different definition and understanding of what grace is all about. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, and I can see grace again as a gift that makes you have an ability to perform. Say so grace is a gift that makes you to have an ability to do what? To perform. Somebody say perform. When grace comes up in the life of a man, you begin to things begin to work for you. Things you lay your hands. When those things come, she began to work for you. So grace is a gift that makes you have an ability to perform. And I can equally define grace Grace is an unearned love and favor given to man through God's goodness. I said that again. Grace is the unearned love and favor given to man through God's goodness. Okay, take me to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5. Yes, sir. Even when we were dead in trespasses. Now, when we were what? Dead in trespasses. When we were dead in sins, trespasses. Made us alive together with Christ. Makes us alive together with Christ. Now, when we are dead in sin, if 
grace is available, it makes us alive with what? It makes us alive with what? Now, if grace, when it comes upon you, it breaks away some certain shackles of sins around you, which means is that Jesus Christ is the grace. The Bible said there is no other person that shall save you apart from who? Jesus Christ. So, when grace comes upon you, automatically it gives, it makes you to be alive even when you are dead in what? Even when you are dead in what? In sin. Okay. Now, remember that we are looking into two things. Base without grace and grace without base. Now, let me take something. For instance, if you want to talk about base, in a natural explanation of understanding, base could be where you stay or where you live. Is that correct? Base could be where you reside. Or if you want to talk about spiritual base, spiritual base could be an altar. Then when you look at what is an altar, altar is a raised stone or a table used as a place of sacrifice or offering. Where divinity meets humanity. So, here now, as designed, where sacrifices are being received, is known as what? An altar. So, in a spiritual base, you can call an altar a base. Then in a physical base, you can call a base like a dwelling place where you can stay and refer people and say, this is where I stay for this and this is where I base for this. Now, this morning, the Lord anointed my hair with a spoken word in my mouth and said, I should tell you two things. That when a man have a grace without a base, it becomes an issue. That when a man have a base without a grace, it has an issue. Now, look at this. Let's first of all look at a man that does business, a businessman. You know, six months is gone. We are moving into the remaining six months. And we need to check and see how successful we have become in the sight of God, both physically and spiritually. Now, you discover that, let's say you are a businessman. And this particular businessman, anywhere you do, you succeed. Be selling cars. You are in your house or you are somewhere. When you, when immediately the cars comes, you, you sell whatever you lay your hands, it begins to work for you. But in your life, something is happening that you don't understand. That thing is that you cannot hold together the blessings. There is nothing that teaches your medulla blangata to open to understand that you need to succeed more and expand. And because of that, it looks as if the things you're doing is not being held together. There are men that in their own part of life, they do not have grace. But everything they want is there. You have the money. You have a shop, a big plaza. Businesses are filled in that place. You sell things, people come to buy. But you discover that in that place you have that business, the business doesn't go. But you have everything. You have all the comfort you need. The business does not sell. Nothing is moving in that business. My brother, go and check very well. You are a man with base without grace. I don't know if some of you that are business people have understood this. You can have a plot of land where you used to do your business. That's your base. And you began to do your business. But nothing happens. But the same person that does the same kind of business stays two shops away from you. Anytime his container comes in, his business people will rush it. Take very well. That man has a base and has a grace. There are some people that everything you need is there. But you notice that for your business to go, there is one boy, boy, you need to bring. There are some people that in their business, nothing most. But when they bring one small boy, who came as, uh, what do you call it? A servant. Immediately that boy comes into that shop. Kai, everywhere, business. Pre, 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 pre. Then you will only realize that it was that boy that came with grace. Any day you fired him, you notice that things are no longer going well. Then you will discover that the boy that came actually came with grace. There 
there are a lot of people today God has provided a base for you but in that particular thing you do you do not have the grace to succeed there are people who are grace carriers but even to raise money to get a befitting base for that particular business do not come the money comes but they cannot hold it together to have a better plan Something is wrong somewhere. Let me tell you. For a man to arise and succeed, you need a base and you need a grace. A grace without a base has an issue. One day my spiritual father called me. He said, Prophet Nosso. He said, we were talking. He laughed. You know what he told me? He said, you're a great man of God. Well recognized across the world. He told me, I respect you so much among other sons that I have. He said, you are highly anointed. Anointed that you can be able to prophesy and make president in countries and they respect you. And where you are now, you are rejoicing. Is that not correct? And that day I went to church with dollars. I said, yes, I'm rejoicing. He laughed. He laughed at me. He said, let me tell you. He said, for you to flourish on the level the Lord has given to you, you need a base. And I sat down. That was last year. And that was why immediately he finished telling me you need a base. I came back and I said, God, I need. That was when God provided for me and we bought the properties we have bought now where we are going to build our headquarters. He said, you need a base. You have branches here. You have in America. You do this, you travel. Your leg doesn't stay one place. Every time you're complaining, you put pastor here. When you're not around, the pastor will not perform. He says, when you continue like that, you will keep complaining. He says, you need a base. And when you get to that base, your travel reduces. Even if somebody needs you in America, if it is a two-day program, go and prophesy. Make sure that every Sunday you are in your base. He said, all those people cheering you, daddy, papa, every country, we began to look for that grace in the base of the grace. That last year, we bought properties. Now, we are now raising money to build. And we believe that by next year, January or from October this year, we will start building in that sixth plot, a cathedral. And from there, I will call our coordinators in all our branches and outreaches. I will no longer be coming and staying three weeks, one month with you. Now it's going to be, if I'm preaching three days, I will come in on Wednesday, preach Thursday, Friday, join the next flight back to Nigeria. Then by then, we now have what? A base. All those people will start coming to do what? And I noticed something. The few months of this year that I've not traveled, did you notice that almost since last two months, almost every week, we must have one or two people, either from Spain, from London, America, that comes here. Is that correct? Eh? And I said, okay, Papa, Papa, advice. You know, everything must not be spiritual. There are people God has given a gift of knowledge. When they advise you, it becomes authentic. And because of that, we are walking. By next year, I know they go anywhere. Another again anyway. We need a base. And the grace we carry will bring those who seek the grace to our base. What you need in life, there are some of you. You have this idea. You want to even Jesus Christ in the Bible is called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There was a base. Amen. There are some of you here. You are so gifted. The grace of God in your life is. You can take an out, have a thinking of how you can divide this bulb and make it to have one bubble, but it will give two light. One light here, one light here. Then you, you equally find a way to connect something that will bring a socket here. Find another thing that will give light. All those grace that operate in you cannot fly if you do not have what? A baby. So when I have discovered that when a man has grace without base, it's an issue. When a man has a base without grace, it's an issue. So every man born of a woman should pray God for a base and a grace.
You are a blessed one. Your ideology is something else. Every man wants to see you. Everybody wants to go, go in contact with you. Everybody wants to love you. Everyone to, wants to work with you. But anytime they want to see you, how do we see him? He said, except you call him a phone. Call him a phone now. They said the phone is switched off. Your binacles will be disappearing. How do we get him? His phone is not going. Thank God for technology this time. Now, how do we get him? His office and social place. If you go there, even if he's not sit, you will see a secretary. You take note. He, the secretary can book you so he can come and deal with you. As long as you have a base, there shall be promotion every time. And let me tell you, as long as you are a carrier of grace, you need to pray for God to provide you a base. And the worst part of it is a base without grace. There are people, as I'm talking to you, that have a very big place for business, but they are doing nothing. Hello? I don't know if I'm talking here. But there are people, their business is flourishing, but they are actually looking for a very big place. And they, for Satan to know that such a level of base will make them prosper, he will always attack their finance. So whenever they want to get a base, something will happen. So you become a man with grace without base. And there are people with base without grace. So they will have to go and look for some people that have grace that will be... So that is why when a man wants to pray, you pray God. When you look at what Paul, I think Paul in, in, in the book of Romans, anything he wants to say, he will always say to you, grace be unto you. He knows, he knows that that is the thing that comes upon you, that you have an ability to perform. Grace. May you never be a grace carrier without a base. Did I say something here? I said, may you never be a grace carrier without what? A base. And may you never be somebody the Lord has given a base and you lack the grace to sustain the base. All right, all right, all right. I want to I want to promote somebody the remaining six months God is about to do something. If you are a grace carrier as you jump into the month of July God will make a new base for you. But if the Lord has given you a base, nothing is happening there. The ministry is not growing. The church is not growing. The business is not growing. The finance is not coming. I prophesy, grace of our Lord Jesus shall locate you for the prosperity of that base. Say better, amen. Let me hear. You cannot be a man carrying of grace, but there is no base for success. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. And there are people today, you are grace carriers, and God has provided a base. Now, when Satan sees that he cannot fight your grace, he will begin to fight your base. The Lord will solidify your base and protect your grace. I didn't hear you. I said, The Lord will solidify. Your base and protect your grace. If your amen is convincing, receive it. I, I have changed. That, that, that's why somebody like us that are uh, uh, ministry, uh, if you look at Genesis, I think Genesis chapter 8, I don't know if I'm correct. Genesis chapter 8, yes, verse 20, Noah built an altar. Abraham built an altar in Genesis 22, 9. Moses built an altar in Exodus 17. Gideon built an altar in George chapter 6. Now, I now discover that even we that are priest preacher, that are preachers, you must have an altar. That when things become rough, you return to your altar. That's why an altar is equally what? A base. A base, yes. 
So when spiritually, you know, physically your base, the business is doing. Whenever there is war, that is why when you have a physical base, you must equally have a spiritual base. There are people today, their problem is that they don't have a spiritual base. In the next five minutes, they are redeemed. Now, he said one, one prophet day there today. By 6 p.m., they see get one another prophet where they one near mountain of fire. As they are finishing, they say, Ah, you didn't hear her vigil? That one boy, what they call Sean God. Go there, go there. That one go wrong. They do not have what? A spiritual base. If you are a child of God who understands how base works, that altar you know that is truly of Christ genuine and acceptable whenever the case goes bad run back to that base kneel down sometimes you might not even need the priest to know talk to God when you return an altar is a place of sacrifice and offering where divinity meets humanity so when you go there you talk return to your base the war has begun the God of this great commission no one lived, raised an altar for God Abraham raised an altar for God Gideon raised an altar for God Altar for God. Now, that place you know that is your base. Go there and talk to him spiritually. He will find the spiritual battle. Then when you go back to your physical base, where you do your things and run your uh, 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 ministries, your businesses and all that, at that particular place you can make mouth and say, no matter the challenge, I have the grace. My business will what? Excel. There's so many of you from your wonders womb, you're so blessed. Anything you touch flourishes. Is that correct? But you are nowhere to be found. You are nowhere to be notified. You are nowhere to be recognized. Check very well. You do not have a base. Because something the money comes in. Because you can lay hands on something, you can buy a recharge card. You think you're comfortable. The Bible said in King Uzziah died, then Isaiah saw what? Now, Isaiah was thinking he was a senior prophet. See, when King Uzziah died, he was able to connect to who? To God. Amen? So he now knew that that level he was operating was not his level. So there is a particular level you are into now. You think your business is doing well, whereby that is not where God has kept for you as your level. Can I prophesy to you? As you recognize your base and accept your grace, in July, you will flourish more than ever. I say you will flourish more than ever. I say you will flourish more than ever. If your amen is louder, this prophecy belongs to you. Grace without base and base without grace. Now hear this. You don't need to be a man that will lack any of them. When I refer to a man, I'm talking both the sex, men and women. You need to be a man that has gotten the both, both your base and your what? Let me tell you how, when you don't have base, how it, it works. Some of you have not noticed it because from your phone, when they call you, you began to do one business. Then you think you're comfortable. Have you imagined yourself where you came into Lagos newly or any country newly or state newly and you have connections but you don't have a house? Every night you will remember you don't have a house. In the morning you might not remember you don't have a house. But every night. Every night. I have some people that calls me from abroad. Some of them say we watch your programs via our phone. But we can tell you that we don't have what? A house. We sleep in the car. And such people, their parents are here rejoicing that their children are what? No, bro. And I was like, one of them I said, I got an alert on my he said, test me account. I said, for what? He said, despite he doesn't have a base, he want to show his seat. I was so reluctant. He kept disturbing, disturbing, then I did. So I got an alert one time, and I was like, 
with this money, you need to go and get a place. He said, now, some, one of them said to me, it's not that I don't have a place. I have a place I bought. But my wife asked me out. Pushed me out. You know, in abroad, women get one small power. That's why in Africa, we are afraid to give them such kind of constitution allowance. Because if you allow them like that here, yeah, yeah. you know, say in Africa, anything they want to learn from Oyibo, now then go do and pass. So if you give them such authority here, they won't push us out. You'll be going out, a woman will come and tie your leg with rope. With dance. My friend, sit down there. If I come back, you have shifted from there. <laughs> so I was stopped. I said, he said, in fact, this person has brought a woman in my house. I mean, a man in my house. And this man comes in, I see them and all that. And he said, there are some certain things I'm doing concerning my documents. So I don't know how to fight. If you fight, your own is gone. Then you are in a hell accepting the fire. So some of you that have a base blessed by God do not know what God has done for you. People are suffering. You know, my office has made me to see people. So sometimes people will come to the office that day, that day, you know, I'm suffering. I will just laugh. Because if I compare what other people have told me, my brother, you are in heaven. Hello? If I compare what other people have told me, my brother, you are where? You are in heaven. You are in heaven. That's why no matter your situation, give thanks to the Lord. Because that thing you call a situation is something somebody else is praying for somewhere. I took my syringe be Oh I took my syringe be Many le no keni le le I took my syringe be me I have confidence in you Oh I have confidence in you every time, any day. I have confidence in you, Jehovah. Now, when you hear people's story, my brother, you will smile that Jesus loves you. Hello. When you hear people's story, you might even change your mind of the prayer point you were coming. Maybe when you came, you wanted to say, God, this sufferness, I'm tired. Then when you reach there, because you have heard other people's testimony, you will change the prayer point to God. Thank you for the day. I have seen I have seen people that will come. They will say, Daddy, as I'm talking now, I do not have money that will give I and my entire family food today. And there is no hope anywhere. But when you check your life, you might not have the money, but there is hope for you. There are people that their own life are turned to that they have no base, no grace, and no hope. You have not seen that kind of people. As a preacher, I have an opportunity to see them. I have an opportunity to see them. And at that time, I can't tell them to kneel down and pray. I will just look for everything I get. As I pray, I go, make sure everything leaves my pocket. And I will give. Have you ever seen where, guy, have you seen where you give somebody 5,000? And the person, because of 5,000, went to their church and do Thanksgiving. <laughs> People are laughing at me. When I never see, I said, 5,000. Money for one pot of soup. 
that you sold into somebody's life, he came to church. Write names, he, he went and wrote. He will dance, dance, dance. He will sing. Oh my son, praise the Lord. We are waiting for the testimony. Say, praise the Lord. For over one week, there is nothing. For two weeks, there is nothing. As I'm talking to you now, there is something. Everybody will jump up. Brother, tell us what is the something. Somebody dash me 5,000. I will just be quiet. It's funny, Abby. Funny. People are suffering. People are suffering. And that's why anywhere you have found yourself, there are people that are somewhere, they are praying God to give them a bicycle. And a bicycle rider is praying God to give him a car. And a car rider is praying God to give him a car. And a car rider is praying God to elevate him to 2019 model. As a child of God, you have to pray that God should give you a base and a grace. I don't think there is anybody God created for him to suffer to his death. I don't think so. But sometimes situation can get to each pain that you don't know where it's something that is happening that is happening to you. I'm getting angry in the spirit now. Can I prophesy to a believer here? Anything that has caused your frustration in life, as this month of June is coming to an end, I command it shall expire in the name of Jesus. Hi. I have seen families that even when God remembered to bless them, death began to take them one after the other. You need a spiritual base and an altar for protection. You need a physical base for success. You need a grace for thy gift to manifest. Base without grace is not complete. Base without grace is not complete. I was discussing with my pastor. I said, with the level of grace we have, with the level of grace we have, I don't think there is anything we want on earth again. Because there is no office I cannot assess. But I now said, with our spiritual father telling us, go and get a base. And I have realized that without a base, that you call your own. Now here, they can get to it. You are incomplete. Amen, church. Hallelujah, church. Let me pray for you. Maybe it has been for so many years. You think you are gifted, but there is no base. I provoke the earth. The Bible said the earth is of the laws and the fullness of the world that dead that went there. For he has fallen upon the seas and established upon the floors. Who shall ascend the hills of Lord or who shall stand in the holy place? He that has a clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is vanity and does not connect the step fully. He will have a message from the Lord and vindication from the God of his salvation. You and I are among the generation of them that seek ye that seek ye the face of God of Jacob. Lift up your hands, O ye gates. That have delayed the base and the grace of my people. So that the king of glory. Who provides grace. And who provides base. Shall come. Who is this king of glory. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads. O you go. And be lifted up with shadows. That the king of glory shall come. Who is this king of glory. The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. If this earth belongeth unto God, all ye earth, I provoke you that anybody that can say amen now shall receive an opening that will give you a base in the name of Jesus. I prophesy again. All ye earth, hear me. Hi. O wa di go nyo karama e O wa suro nye I provoke you the earth Yes sir That every member of this church uh -huh. Anybody watching me from anywhere Yes sir Anybody hearing the sound of my voice from anywhere Yes sir 
that the gift of God in your life is not working. Yes, sir. I stand in this exotic altar uh-huh. and I prophesy that the gift of God in your life make a way for you. Amen. Let the gift of God make a way for your family. Amen. I provide the grace in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray again that if you are a businessman or woman, uh-huh. whatsoever you do, you need a base. Yes, sir. I hereby pray mm. that the four corners of the earth will hear me now. Amen. Anywhere your base is located, where you're supposed to be and prosper. You know, there is a place you will be, things will be dragging, but there is a place you will enter. It will look like there is a new opening. Yes, sir. If it is in the north, in the south, mm-hmm. in the west, yes, in the east, yes, sir. all ye four corners of this earth, uh-huh. by the authority in the name of Jesus, uh-huh. I decree that from today, anywhere the base of my people are, uh-huh. may that base locate you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am Oyama. Open your hands for me. Today is the last Sunday of June, correct? Yes, sir. Is today the last day of June, too? Yes, sir. Tomorrow is July. Yes. Manabosha. Oh, <laughs> 